10 begins now. There we go. And hit play. <laughs> All right, so we did... So I, I didn't even go through a real, like, week... I did floor and vault the whole week, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna put together all my floor passes, all of my high bar, or all my vault pass, or all my floor and all my vault, all in one. Just because I was like, they're all blending together and I don't know what's going on. But I will tell you, I'm doing something new on my floor technique. So, when I'm doing my round off, I'm s like, here's my block arm, right? I hit the block arm, and right, right when I block off, I pull my opposing arm down into my side to help initiate turn right off the bat and that's definitely a Japanese technique that I'm starting to pick from and so I was doing so much tumble track and I was just like you know let me just see what else I can do to try to help initiate turn right off the bat and it's honestly helping a lot like you'll see actually you know what let me go back I'll show you how that arm comes back right away so there I'm snapping that arm is like, I'm pulling that arm through and back, and then I'm able to wrap into the two and a half. And I'm like, all right, that's a good two and a half layout. Chilling, ready for the two and a half double front. Yeah, yeah, it was a little whippy, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Feel comfortable enough to go for that. And what up, Isaac? How are you doing today? Um, so, yeah, I'm with the updates on the elbow, I will say that I did the MRI, the X-ray... I have no loose, like, bone fragments in there, but what is going on is that apparently I have an old injury, and my growth plates never fused in my elbow, or I broke it when I was younger, and I never actually remember getting an elbow injury in my entire life, but it, apparently I did somehow, and it's acting up now, and the reason it's acting up now is because I did more pommel horse on this bad wrist than I should have. And when I was doing that, oh yeah, look at that froggy squat. That's how you start. New shorts, new day. That's what that means. Um, but yeah, so it's hurt and I need to make it better by getting all the inflammation out because I was doing so much on my wrist that my elbow was taking more impact and it was a compensation issue. So it was a bit of a bummer right there, but I did realize that, hey, everything is fine. And I didn't go to the doctor until the end of the week. So I didn't get to figure that out until the very end. And they're like, all right, we're just going to give you anti-inflammatories so that they can knock down the swelling. And hopefully now that your wrist is feeling better, you won't be compensating and causing issues on your elbow further. So if we can get the inflammation down, it will stay down. And that was the biggest goal that I, that the biggest thing I took away from that, from our doctor sesh. So there's is some positive vibes in there. Oh, let me all right. Let me get this triple full. Let me get some better views. So I'm also doing that elbow technique with the um, with uh, on the triple fold, and this is really where it actually started. And then I just translated it into my uh, two and a half. But you'll see, I'm pulling that left arm far back, and then I'm sitting up like pretty much into a front two and a half at this point. So it's like I'm getting that twist done so early that I'm able to finish it a lot faster and have time to kick out. And uh, the, the dogs are, oh yeah, that one, that one hurt. That one hurt real bad. My ankles were not happy with me on that. But then you get up and do it again. Yeah, I had to, I had to walk that one off for a little bit though. Was not, was not. So yeah, okay, this is, I also do have to say, I was like depressed this week because I couldn't do as much as I wanted. And then I, my shin started hurting from doing so much floor and vault. And I couldn't even do as much of that as I wanted. I was just like down in the dumps. And I think I wasn't really taking any of these turns as seriously as I probably should. I'm like trying new techniques because I'm having issues in squaring up on that Randy. Issues that I think I have found out this week. So I will have some new information and shed some light on the situation there. But yeah, I'm, it just was honestly like I was just sad. Because everything was hurting and I was like, man, I this is a wasted week at this point. I don't feel like I'm motivated. I want to train, but my body physically won't let me. And it's just frustrating when you want to do more and I'm not able to do it. But in this, I did a full set, which I did actually feel like I accomplished something. Because I got the Randy in, no mats third. It wasn't perfect, but 
Yeah, exactly. This is this is what the week felt like. It was just like, you know, beating me down. But then I get back up. I'm like, all right, do it one more time. And I did feel good about this. But, but yeah, I mean, just a gymnast, like, I will say that it, it is annoying. But, like, I, I, like, I feel like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad injuries. So I will say that. I'm not super injured. Like, it's just these little things right now that seem to keep just nagging at me. And it never seems to end, which is the big issue. And, you know, I, I'm, I am happy that I don't need surgeries. And I am doing everything in my power to make sure it doesn't get to a point where I need surgeries. And, like, I'm taking the time where I need it. But, with that being said, oh my gosh. I, yeah, with that being said, I just really wanted to, uh, you know, shed light on the fact that I just was not in the best state of mind during this week. And, you know, those weeks are going to happen. Um, you know, you want to have them as few times as possible. But, I will say, they do still happen. And you kind of have to just persevere and make sure you come out of it safe. And so, now we're getting into our vaults, which I did a couple cause doubles, which, you know, these are looking really good. And uh, once I change my shorts, I will uh, take you back to this first little drill that I did. And this is where I really started breaking down what has made my uh, what's made my vault significantly better and so it's turning off this board super early right like I am turning a lot but then as I block my heels and my hips start squaring up to the wall and I'm in this like crazy contorted body position this is where I get my leverage for a snap down or for a sit up actually but then I also do this, you know, like that. But I didn't quite do, I didn't make that look as good as I should have. And obviously, I was being dramatic. Being very dramatic. It's a week for being dramatic, I'll say that. Um, but yeah, then we'll continue with our blue shorts. And uh, Endo, what do you got for me? You said, is the height of the double front supposed to be lower at the same level or higher than the two and a half? It's supposed to be, you know, either lower or no, no, sorry. It's either higher or the same. One or the other. And so that's me breaking down the drills, trying to make sure I get it right. Didn't do it. But yeah, on that one, I definitely was lower. And so this is another little drill that I came up with that helped me figure out what it should feel like, your pre-flight, onto the vault table. So I punch, and it feels like I'm doing a breakdancing move, right? Like, I this is where I feel the most power and the possibility to actually sit up and crank into a twist after blocking off the table. It looks like I'm doing a trick move, but that's what it actually feels like when it goes well. Unfortunately, today, or whatever day this is, it was not, I wasn't able to translate that little drill I did onto the actual table. You'll notice I'm falling to the left. If I do it right, I should honestly take a small step to the right. That's when things are perfect. And so that was actually everything I got for the week. It was uh, it was a struggle. It was a struggle of a week for sure, and uh, I will say the elbow as of this as of week eleven is feeling significantly better. So we're making moves. It's I started testing things out. Like I am touching horse and p bars and high bar. I'm staying away from rings in week eleven, but I'm just trying to get that inflammation down so that I can be. As healthy as possible. And I'm going to start getting back on tracking my turns. Felt like last week was just a crapshoot of what was actually going to happen and where things were going. But I, you know, I'm just trying to get my positive vibes back. I think that's really where I'm at. Get my head into a much clearer space. Um, and be able to just have a little more enthusiasm in the gym. It was, it was a depressing week last week. Um, but they did say that my elbow structurally is good. And you have to just, you know, work through the pain a little bit, not too much. But honestly, I'm, I'm, I, they, that's what they said. But I was like, you know, let me just get this inflammation out and then we can start actually focusing on coming back. So I am going to progress slowly in the next coming weeks. Make sure I don't overdo anything and make anything worse. I'm tired of having to come back from injuries. So I'm ready just to, you know, commit myself to getting healthy and then we can attack it from there. So that's going to be the end of the episode. I'll take some questions now, but thanks for tuning in, and uh, 